the East Africa crude oil pipeline work is taking shape. The pipeline will journey over 1,400 kilometers from here at Kavale Hoima in western Uganda to the Tanga port of Tanzania. The commencement of the project has been delayed for several months over funding constraints. The project is progressing well. Um, of course, there have been uh, delays in funding the, this project, so we've had to re rely heavily on, on, um, on our own uh, national resources to, to, to fund this project. The Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation is also putting in 15%, so UNOC is 15%, uh, TPDC is 15%. Um, and then you have, um, of course, Total Energies at 62%. You have CNOC at 8%. This is just the pipeline I'm talking about. Several financial institutions and private lenders pulled out of the pipeline project, citing environmental and human rights concerns. However, Uganda insists that it has taken all the steps to safeguard the environment. Whatever we do does not harm the environment, and we don't burn this gas into the environment. So the best option for it is to either store it inject it back to the earth or use it for, 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 for gas production. Uganda's oil and gas fields are found in an ecologically sensitive environment with freshwater lakes, rivers, wildlife parks and forests. Engineers from the Chinese company Sinok are assembling another rig at this site to prepare for drilling. About 10 oil wells are supposed to be drilled on this block before the set deadline for the first oil production. Uganda has set a target of 2026 as the year for commercial oil production. Works on a central processing facility, a new international airport and a road network are in the final stages. The country is also sourcing for joint venture partners from China, Russia or the Middle East to build a refinery to produce finished oil products. Drilling, it's, uh, it's, all, it's all design, it's procurement, it's, 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 it's buying equipment, it's setting up machinery, it's setting up facilities that will enable us to process our crude oil uh, and export from 2026. Uganda has so far discovered 1.6 billion barrels of commercial crude oil reserves. The hope is that once production starts, the government will use the oil revenues to boost its economy. Hilara Yesiga, CGTN, Chikube, Western Uganda.